Hey guys, it's Postbox Pat. Welcome back to a brand new Fortnite update news video. And obviously we're heading into the weekend now and we've got so much news obviously leading up to the brand new update which should be popping this Tuesday or so. So, before we get into this, don't forget to smash that subscribe. We're getting so close to 600,000 subscribers. Thank you everyone smashing that subscribe. Every single day we are getting closer and closer. Now only you can make that happen. So thank you everybody supporting me. Much love and respect. Okay, so the first piece of news I've got for you guys is the Galaxy Scout skin. You can see here is tonight's item shop we've got the galaxy skin bundle and the galaxy scout skin on its own so feel free if you're grabbing any of these so if you're going to be copping this don't forget to support me with code postbox pat in that shop thank you everybody using my code really does mean a lot here are a bunch of shouts to you guys who are doing that honestly guys this is one of the best ways to support the channel so thank you okay with that out of the way with the galaxy skin coming in the shop and obviously a lot of people probably going to be copping it because i know it's a very hyped skin my personal opinion is i don't know if i'll buy it because i want to save my v bucks but i definitely might end up getting gifted the skin i do like the skin i do personally prefer the male version though i feel like this one might be a little bit overhyped but i think it's pretty cool and obviously a female variant is always awesome to get your hands on so it's available feel free to grab it all right so moving on to the next little topic for you guys for those that haven't already seen the brand new event with diplo his final event where he presents his higher ground event in party mode has just finished i streamed it up on the channel and there were free easter eggs during this event which have never ever been seen before in fortnite event history one of them kind of has been seen but not in the party mode so let me show you guys these the first one we had was this crazy neon effect which you can see here now this neon effect covered the entire map everywhere i thought it was really weird and really interesting to see how this worked it kind of covered you covered all the buildings it was like an outline to every structure and i loved it so really glad they introduced this to the live event scene we may see this getting put into further or future live events in the battle royale universe or the party royale universe now the next effect that was used in the game for the event was also these big big dj balls now you can see them in the sky the disco balls dj balls whichever one you call them they're up there in the sky and i don't know if these were meant to drop because he made out as if these were going to drop but they never did so maybe they were just there to float and they did like float around as well now after that we also saw some fireworks as well i know we've already had fireworks in these events and stuff like that in the past we all know that we had like the new year event and stuff but it was cool to actually see them in the party royale mode don't forget to smash the like on today's video guys if you haven't already we're going to try and aim for 5,000 likes it's a big goal i think we can do it it's a medium goal actually i think we can probably absolutely smash that goal but i think we can do it all right smash the like guys if you haven't already okay moving on to a little bit more future topics for those wondering more details on other stuff so if you don't already know one of the recent skins or the recent outfits the evasion outfit should be rare however it's actually said to be epic so fortnite are working on this and this should be fixed in a future game update very very soon so a little bit of a news information there on a skin which did have a few errors with it so i'm so glad they've actually put that change in and obviously that is a big one for the community next one we've got for you guys is actually coming from ninja himself so it looks like Super Gamer Ninja is actually set course for Hollywood. Who knows exactly what he's going to do in Hollywood, but it's interesting to see that he's trying to make his film career actually take off. I don't see Ninja being a star role of any film, but I do see him being like an Easter egg in films, a little, a little bit like Elon Musk has Easter eggs in films, Flash Gordon sometimes features in films, and people like that from the, like the old era, kind of like different genre. I know Flash Gordon is an actor, but Elon Musk, people like that, he isn't really an actor, but he's in many films. So... Maybe that's what I'm assuming Ninja will be like. He'll be like an Easter egg a little bit. So, for example, if you watch the new Avengers film, uh, the one which was uh, the end game, obviously we know that in that we have the kind of like Thor scene where he's playing on the video games. You could imagine like Ninja being in that for like half an hour. Not half an hour, but like a 30 second clip. Why did I say half an hour? I don't know. But yeah. That's what I think with that interesting news. I thought I'd put it in the video because I thought it was quite cool to see a gamer actually deciding to move into the Hollywood industry if possible. So yeah, nice to see. Next little topic I've got for you guys is coming from Mango. So Mango himself was talking about that he's almost 99% certain that the Grotto will have a new location at it next season. Because apparently there's a door sound effect, there's also cave sound effects and bat swarm sound effects. So he's predicting that potentially it would make an excellent Halloween location, which would probably make perfect sense. Yeah, so I do think that. Also, we've got Nutella there saying potentially he thought that the vault might 
open up tomorrow when the water does go down again. And that leads on to that topic once again. The water will be finally moving down again tomorrow into its eighth stage. Now, we don't know if it's going to go any lower in this, and we don't know if this is going to be its confirmed final stage. Again, we still could get changes after the next update gets applied. But if this is its final stage, I will be covering the map changes once again for you guys tomorrow evening. So expect that content up on the channel. I know you guys have been absolutely loving the map change videos. I've covered them every single day. There's a map change for you guys. So be expecting that video as soon as the water level goes down. Obviously, a little bit hours after, after I've edited it up and got everything found for you guys. It does take me about five to six hours to search the map for every little change. But I try my best to find everyone. And I apologize if I named the wrong words for different items or different locations. I know yesterday I did name, I think it was Slurpy. I called it like Steamy Swamps or something like that. It's just a little bit of a mistake. Sometimes it happens when you're doing these sort of live commentaries. So expect that probably to happen again if I end up do covering all that sort of stuff on that side. So yeah, kind of interesting stuff right there, obviously regarding the return or kind of the return of the OG map and the water lowering. The next little topic I've got for you guys before we jump back to map changes and some secret challenge stuff is the brand new live event again happening in Party Royale. Now rather than it being a live event, this is more of a live premiere. So this is actually a premiere for the brand new album, is it? Apparently from obviously the artist here, Kenshi. He's a Japanese artist and this is going to be really interesting to see this sonic journey through this. Now obviously this is a premiere for the album. I will not be streaming this one only because it's only a premiere and it's not a live event, uh, not a full live performance or anything like that. So I'm probably not going to stream this one unless you guys really want me to. It's not sort of my genre, it's not really sort of my music that I'm into really, personally. But, you know, like you guys know with the Diplo event, you know it's not my style of music either. However, he adds a lot of variants. He's done a bit of trance, he's done a bit of country, he's done a bit of just classic pop. He's done a whole mixture, and I think that's what's made Diplo's stuff really awesome. Whereas this, I think it's going to be set to this geezer's genre, and I'm almost certain it's some sort of electronic genre. I haven't yet listened to it, and I will look into it. And if I do suddenly change my mind on the style, then I might end up streaming it. But probably, if I'm not a big fan of it, I don't know if I will. I've never heard of him personally myself. So that's just my personal opinion on it. Obviously, everyone, someone might absolutely love this artist. And if it is your favorite artist, make sure you're popping in game on the day and getting some information on this on the 7th of August so you're ready for everything on that side. Okay, your next little thing here is obviously regarding the water level dropping, which I mentioned before, which will be at 3 a.m. Eastern time tomorrow. And it's actually going to be interesting because this is going to be level zero, which is going to be the flat level. And it's actually apparently going to be big changes with the returns, apparently, of the ruins at Atlantis, apparently, and also the spaceship. Uh, challenges which will be inside so accessible I don't know if this is the case I'll definitely upload the video earlier on uh, I personally disagree though I don't think Atlantis will be here and I also don't think that the uh, spaceship challenges will be here straight away either so I'm generally thinking none of this thing or none of this is going to be like uh, here tomorrow I know the map will lose its water level I just don't don't think they've got all the files to add in for this unless it's all encrypted and there's obviously the spaceship challenges as well which are part of this so the spaceship challenges are kind of like like similar to the visitor challenges apparently and they're gonna have different tapes potentially where you're gonna to have to be able to choose different stories and stuff so if that is the case I'll probably just do it on two accounts just so I can uh, get the full story and if there's like two options in it and stuff and I think this is definitely gonna reveal some stuff in the world of Fortnite for us to tell us how the storyline is gonna play out in the future now a few people were commenting on yesterday's map change video saying Pat you didn't show off uh, the map change over by the actual ships uh, basically there was no map change by the spaceship that crashed in, other than the water had lowered down the side of it. I just didn't really put that one in because I thought it wasn't really the really necessary. I only put the ones in that are big changes, like things that we've seen, oh, that wasn't there, that's new, or that's new, or that's new, or this is huge, you know what I mean? I just fly past the smaller ones. So that's why I didn't cover the ship in the video. Other than that, though, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy it and you enjoyed all the news, smash a like on it, smash the subscribe if you haven't already. Hope to see you guys in future content on screen right now. I'll see you guys then. So once again, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And this is Postbox Pat, signing out.